In the last section, we finished up our before each helper. We're now going to add some tests to this file to test out both our factory and our campaign contracts. Before we add those, however, I want to mention one quick thing. I know that sometimes people get really tired of writing tests inside of a course. So if you are tired of writing tests and you don't want to write any more, then feel free to skip this video and the next couple and go ahead and skip ahead to the video on deployment of this contract. So again, if you don't want to do these tests, totally fine. I understand. Go ahead and continue on. Otherwise, stick around and we're going to write some tests. So here's my before each statement. Right underneath that, we're going to open up a new describe block. So I'll say describe campaigns because that's what we're testing here. I think that a very reasonable first test will be to make sure that both the factory and the campaign were successfully deployed. And remember, we can test that by just asserting that they both have an address assigned to them. We've written the same test several times before, so essentially we're going to do the same thing as a nice little warm up. So inside of my describe statement, I'm going to add an it block and I'll say it deploys a factory and a campaign. And then inside of there, we'll add on an assertion to look at the options.address property of both the factory and the campaign. So I'll say assert.ok factory options address. And then I'll do the same thing for the campaign as well. Assert OK campaign options address. All right, so very easy warm up test, but this is mostly just to make sure that our entire testing setup works. Before we run our tests, remember that we have to add in a script to our package.json file to run the Mocha test runner. I'm going to open up the package.json file. I'll find the scripts section. I'm going to delete the test script that is already there, and I will replace it with test mocha, just as we had done previously. We can now flip on over to the command line and run the npm, rust, npm run test command to make sure that our tests are behaving the way we expect. So back over here, we'll do npm run test. And after a quick pause, we'll see our tests run like so. Okay, so you'll notice that it's still not an instantaneous process to get our tests running. So you might have been thinking, well, we're not doing the Solidity compiler anymore. They should be way faster. Eh, they are faster, but starting up that Ganache local network still takes a pretty good amount of time. So it takes maybe one or two seconds for our test to actually be executed. It definitely is way better than what we had before. We were where we had to wait for our contracts to be compiled at the start of every test run. So at least in that regard, things are a little bit faster. All right, so let's pause right here. We're going to come back in the next video and we're going to add on a bunch of tests to our test file.